for some weird reason, in my recollection, this bathtub had gunias of maize when we first saw it. I still think that's the case, but I'm not sure anymore. However, when I first saw this bathtub, I did not have that much hope for it. But then when I found out that it was a metal bathtub that was made out of chuma, I was like, okay, maybe there is hope. And when we removed it, uh, while we were working on the bathroom, removing tiles and everything and ended up removing the bathtub, I finally saw the, the real potential in it. In this video, we are going to give this 75 year old bathtub new life. So let's get into it. <laughs> So, we found the date uh, when this particular tab was made. It was the 5th of October. This is at 1 and 0. 1948. This is 48. 1948. 5, 10, 48. And then here it says 3.3 or 33. Hola. So, in continuing with the refinishing of this tub, um, I have so far sanded it. I did some grinding to smoothen it as best as I could, but I still wanted to have a bit of texture, so we have a bit of texture left in there. And now I want to prime it in preparation for painting. So that's what I want to do right now. I want to leave it drying, and I am using a metal primer this is the zinc phosphate primer in color gray the guy i spoke to so it comes in gray and it comes in white but every person i've spoken to uh i even asked nani uh lawrence because he deals with metal and they all told me don't take the white take the gray it takes to color way way better so i'm like okay that's cool so we're going to do the thing which is prime this and then we're going to leave it to dry then hopefully tomorrow we can paint the outside so we're doing first the out yeah the outside the exterior of the tub and then after that we are going to once this is nice and dry we're going to flip it over and do the insides because the insides also have like a lot of work well a lot of steps rather than a lot of work yeah Be careful with my heart, oh Say I'm not sensitive, but I can sense if it's right for me Don't let your hair get in the way Done. It's looking cute already I didn't touch this part because this needs to be removed first So we're going to do that afterwards This is also coming off, so it's not a big deal but I like the way it looks and our date is a lot more prominent now um, can you see it? really really popping <laughs> that's part done so this is only step one but well, actually now we are on step three and now we'll do two coats of our color choice it's called tangerine tango that's the color choice that we are using for the exterior but I feel like it already looks really really nice so far so I like it good morning so this is dry the base coat is dry but also guess what I went and got myself a pipe range know how the sun's going to react hi peanut uh-uh no hi Rafiki Rafiki are you okay Oh no. I was saying I want Kina Silas to find this ready because when they come I want us to install it, okay? So I got a pipe range yesterday because I was I went to River Road so Every 
is feckle, weather is impeccable when you are near. And that's the truth, my dear. So, that Buddha is loud. So, I was talking about the finish of the tub. So, right now, the finish is gloss, which I think just when I was doing that last part is and I was like oh wait did I make a mistake which the answer is yes um, so as I was saying um, the issue that I have is I did not want to have um, a gloss finish on this I wanted it to be flat which is like matte or at best semi gloss and I just realized that because then now that explains why I had four liters of the other paint. Because at one point I was like, why did I have four liters of that? I don't need four liters of that. And then when I was wrapping up that side, that's when I was like, oh, wait, I think I've made a mistake. So um, when I was saying there's two ways to achieve a matte effect on this. One is first let's wait for this to dry and then see if I can just go on top of this because the color is the same it's just the finish is different see if I can just go on top of this with my silk paint because it is fresh paint anyway so yeah um, I might have to just sand it down just a bit just to make it a bit of, I don't know we'll see option two would be continue painting it with a gloss then after that paint over the gloss with a matte varnish which is way too much work because one gloss paint takes way longer to to dry okay so it's gonna take a lot longer to finish drying and all and then wow but anyway back to the tub so i definitely don't want to go the route of gloss gloss and then a matte varnish um yeah also because this gloss paint is needed in the house uh somewhere else so we're going to leave this to dry for the day it needs about 16 hours for you to be able to recoat it uh, i'm going to see how it dries during the day i'm not going to be here so i'll see it when i come back and then at that point we'll decide the next step which I think the easiest is I just, I'm just going to sand it down just a bit not all the way down to the knee just to make it slightly rough-ish to get rid of that shine and then just go in with the silk paint because the beauty of the silk is it's still easy to clean and all that uh, versus matte because um, matte when it picks up paint sometimes cleaning up matte paint can be a chore but silk paint just a uh, wet whatever wet soapy thingy wipe it and you're done so yeah I think that that's what we're going to do so we're going to leave it but I don't know why did it take me so long to realize I think it's just because I'm obsessed with the color I think that's it but we are going to come see how it goes and then move on from there so yeah this mistake is gonna cost me 16 hours. Erase or erase. You know. I borrowed a grinder. Because remember when I told you the situation with the paint, and you can tell it has like a high gloss finish, which is not what I wanted. My mind was completely out of it. So to rectify that, we're going to sand it down. And then I'm going to paint the silk um, version of the paint before I head out. I'm hoping I'll be able to do that. Um, yeah, because I'm already late. Okay, so let's sand this as fast as we can. I'm hoping that I won't have to do the, the nini again. What's it called? The base coat. But first, let's see how the sanding goes. And then we'll decide on that. Pretty fantastic. Years pass by with that golden pack in tandem with dancing. Till the night time laps, or in the daytime strand, your self esteem tastes good. But damn, it's hard to make a man with empty hands feel hands full of love. Like, damn, this is glove. Feel like the wintertime sun. Hello, hello. Hello, it's another day. So, we 
sanded and painted the base coat yesterday repainted the base coat so there's parts where it ran out but what i did is i i passed the brush through it to make sure at least that those parts are not shiny as well and here we are with our tangerine tango uh, tangerine tango it's the same color we had whatever we had just done the wrong finish and i'm seeing a spider here it might be dying soon if it comes back it's gonna die okay so i'm just gonna mix this nicely and then we do our first coat and then hopefully it will dry nicely tonight and then tomorrow morning before leaving i can do the second coat because like i told you take several coats for this num for this kind of colors to really really um shine through so slow and steady is the name of the game no i've had it good since i've had you no i'm scared so this is sad too but this embrace feel natural i want to stay till pasture even if it means i gotta face the music and good morning another day uh of us continuing with our tab refinishing video so today we are doing the second and hi Rafiki the second coat the third coat yesterday we did the second coat in the morning um, this but I didn't film that so I'll show you what it looks like after the second coat because yesterday morning we were transferring footage and all so um, as I was I was thinking the way I've been over here thinking oh um, I need a foam roller, I need a foam roller. The entire time, I had this thing in the house. I'd completely forgotten that I invested in a, <coughs> in a spray gun uh, for painting. And the specific reason I bought this was because of the tab. So, we are going to set this up and then we're going to spray... We're going to spray paint the next coat so yeah let's do this That's done. That's what it's looking like. I like the way it looks so far. The consistency is really seamless. What I've noticed with the spray gun is that it, at first it feels like it's just spouting. So you have to really find the soft spot for that. I like the way it's looking. So we have to leave that to dry. Um, so we'll see how it looks in the evening. But it looks so good. So far I love... Oh my gosh. Can you see it? So we're going to do one more coat. So this is coat number three. And I'm like, I don't know why I didn't just start with the spray gun. Because it was here all along. When I was doing all the shenanigans with a brush, it was here. So <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Sometimes we forget these things. Go back home. And it's time to do what we did this morning. I'm going to show you how the tab looks now that it's dry it looks really good because in the morning it wasn't dry but it looks really really good after two coats with a brush and one coat with a spray gun i can see where i was heavy handed um there's a bit of drip over there but the color is really picking up now so i feel like after we do this coat I think I must still end up doing one more but first let's see how this one's going to look because I do really want it to be opaque and we are not there yet. I've been giving you the worst to me Cause I can tell you a thirst to be uh, Look how the stars got you worshiping uh, You wanna slide, go to work baby, work baby uh, On the sea uh, And it adjusts like it's in your dreams uh, 
I realized something because even when I was living this morning I was like oh it's already set because it takes first it sets and then it starts drying um, when it starts turning a bit darker and I was like it's probably because this thing is applying very very thin coats of paint right like the the coats I could still once it was dry I could still see the brush strokes underneath which means this was not an extensive thick layer so what I've done is I've gone around a couple of times I think three and now I'm seeing like I feel like now this is a proper coat so do I want to do another one yes is it fun also yes but I feel like if I do one last one I don't know if we'll do that tomorrow morning we give this one like enough time to dry overnight and then tomorrow morning we do a final final coat but I'm really, really, really loving the way this is looking. Now even to the naked eye, it looks, it looks painted. It looks very painted. thing I want to do is clean it up <coughs> the stages are going to be sanding it down cleaning it uh, doing an acid wash we're using mordant uh, we have to apply that leave it and then rinse it let it dry and then do the primer and then do the first coat and then the second coat I don't know if we're doing two coats of primer and two coats of paint or if we're doing one coat of primer and two coats of paint but we're going to see how well everything whatever okay best we can you know fix this 75 year old tab okay i decided it is 1948 because between 1948 and 1848 1948 makes most most sense especially if this house was built in the 1930s like i'd been told um then 1948 makes sense the white and you can see the thing it disappearing um, back here looks like something is happening but I am feeling some dents over here but I feel like it's stuff that can be sanded down to be smooth so I think I'm gonna have to uh, I'll borrow the Nini the grinder because it's a lot faster uh, the only thing because one this machine is it's not a really good sander, it's really terrible, as you can tell. It just comes off and everything. But the thing is, um, I will try the grinder. Ah, okay, so we've tried the grinder and a lot of nini is being used, a lot of sandpaper and I'm not seeing a huge difference. So I'm going to try and see if I can clean it with some white spirit. Uh, and then after that we see, we clean it completely and then try the modern so let's see first hey nothing nothing even the paint won't come off are you kidding me ah it just looks like i'm adding a layer to just okay let's see 
<laughs> is that coming from this or from my hands because I had paint it's not coming on. ah this is becoming too much too much I'm not seeing okay I'm seeing dust and oh when did this happen going to do something because I want something that's getting me closer to where I'm going the sanding was working but it's not working the way I want it to work I need a clean container for this so this is it comes in five liters so I had to get the five liters so let's see so we're using mordant it's a modern solution I got this from crown I had to get it from their depot um instructions on how to use it you apply it with a brush you leave it you clean it with water uh but it's supposed to react to the surface thank you because this is where we have all the grime For it to work, it's in here. It looks like a glazed donut, and it's not even about the sun hitting it at that spot, but it also looks like it's removing stuff. Like, because this is draining, the water is colored, the water, the solution. So, they say that I should leave this to dry um, and then rinse it with clean water. So, let's do that. And then see how or what that does and hopefully something will have happened i don't know if that's because of my elbow grease work this morning because this is giving like we might be going somewhere like something ha has happened like look at that spot if you look at nothing else that looks like hope right We've sanded this again using water this time around. My brother started using water. It's getting cleaner. Uh, so we've decided what we're going to do is we're going to apply mordant one more time. Let that dry, rinse it off, then do it a second time, then a third if we have to. What the mordant will do is <coughs> it will prep the surface for the primer because if, if we don't apply it, uh, apparently the primer will not stick to the tab and we want it to be able to stick to the tab and then now the primer then the paint on top of that will come stick to the primer so we need to first make sure that the primer has something to hold on to so what it does the modern prepares the surface for proper adhesion so that's what we're doing um, get it to where it needs to get to because then after that it's easy work we just spray paint the primer then once the primer is dry we do our two top coats this is the point we've gotten the tab to at this point <laughs> i wanted to say the tab is looking like this at this point ah sun <laughs> thank you <laughs> this is what the tab is looking like right now we've scrapped it uh we're giving it a moment to dry and then we apply the mordant um so it's already looking cleaner than it did yesterday i think i believe it's a lot cleaner so i think the scrubbing and everything helps Modant again and we're using the same container from yesterday it's giving me a good because i feel like now this has gone lower We've washed this tub with the mordant, this one, the acid wash, um, I think at this point five times uh, and I think the last two I'm the one who insisted on for some reason. I just wanted to make sure that this surface has been corroded well enough. This part was the one that was the most important and look at how clean it looks. My brother has done a really good job. Uh, well. It was a team effort, but he scrapped it for me. Um, 
the other day with just soap and water after all the acid washes and then I've rinsed it this morning and also I did one final acid wash my acid wash thingy never turned black there's portions that did but very few but I can like every time we do it it corrodes even more here so I'm like that means it's been working very well so I am very confident that we are going to be okay so it's time for us to prime it yay we are going to prime this because after we prime it we need to give it 16 hours and then paint the the first coat and then give that 16 hours then paint a second coat then after that we have to give it seven days to completely completely cure before we can now add all these small small whatnots so that's where we are I just apply all of it with a brush. Where are you? Where are you? It's the end of the weekend, but I still wanna turn up. Yeah, I still wanna turn up. All I want is to go again, but you ain't picking your phone up. Why are you messing my head? Because it's already it's solidifying and drying. You're all that I crave, so I wonder Where are you? Where are you? Don't hide away from me when I need you most. We got love guaranteed, and I have done priming. Finished the primer. Oh, it's already looking really good, though. Ooh, it's looking swanky. Okay. This is giving us a look of what this tab will look like because the white will also be white. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Ooh, it's looking really cute! Don't be so hard to reach. Just pick up your phone, tell me where you be, cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready, cause I made reservations Too many invitations, and the last night was heavy, heavy. I need communication, tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 every other second Just to make sure we were up to date now it's closer to 11 and I ain't hearing nothing. I just need to know that you're okay. Tell me this bathtub does not look like a brand new bath. Like just, just tell me. Tell, mm? I, mm, mm? As in, let me tell you, there was a lot of trial and error, and I'm so glad how it turned out. Like it looks really, really good. And when I tell you, it looks even better in the room next to everything else. Oh, you have to come back next week to see that. You have to come back next week. You, you have to come back next week to see that. Like that's the only way you can confirm but i love i really really love the way the bathtub looks and i cannot wait to put in my accessories like um my mixer which is matte black because it's me it's me uh and everything else in the bathroom like everything is coming together so 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 nicely so come back next week for now the official episode four of the bathroom makeover and I can't wait like i'm so so excited thank you so much thank you thank you so much for watching this video thank you so so much and i will see you back here 
on Friday with another video or on Tuesday on JDL. Don't forget to subscribe if you're yet to and don't forget to share, leave a comment and give it a like as well and tell your friends we're having fun over here and they're not a part of it. When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say Don't be so hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you'll be Cause I gotta know